Hi guys, how are you? So today I'll show you how we can make some good armors like this type of armors and this type of armors. How you can block in the shapes and polish not in detail only how I can we use the ZD measure and how can we polish the shape using Z modular brush? So let's get it started. So first of all, this is not the final character. So first of all, I took a spear, then Z mesh it and make it low res. This is not necessary. You can because we have to do dynamic. Now I will mask it and before subdivide it, and I will mask it. You can use the lesser tool of masking. So, just a good rough mask like this. Anti mask we can use. Then we can do zero measure or we can do dynamic also. Now I will blocking the shapes using move tool. So at this stage you don't have to follow the details and everything, just focus on the shape. When you are satisfied, you can push to the next stage and how you will du duplicate. I will show later how we can polish it and how we will use the Z measure and polygroup it, the new tool in the Z plugin. Polygroup it is a very useful tool. I am coming on the topic soon. Now I will make the plates here on the thigh area. I will use the lasso tool for blocking the masking shape. Now I will use the brush tool to paint over the mask. We need the mask proper because we are going to extract from it. Now time to focus on the details, the areas, how much cover it we need. I will delete some parts here and there and make it more sharp. You can use the sharpen mask tool or the shortcut control alt. Okay. I reduce some backside also. We'll delete some parts here and there. Now I sharp the mask and deleting more. I am using the brush tool because it, it is very easy to create mask and shapes. What kind of shape you want, you can create easily. When you are satisfied, we can extract it. Go to the subtool menu and we can extract. Okay. Refining more. Now we can extract it in a small thin parts. This much thickness I think perfect for this armor. 
and we have some groups also polygroup is there so we need these polygroups when you're going to remesh we should turn on the keep group option in the C remesh now what we'll do I have to save this one Oops. now you can see in a sheet in the low subdivide and we, you can see I turn on the keep group option now it's good we have a low res version and we can add loops if you want we can use we are using Z modeler now now we can add some loops here supporting loops you can crease it also if you want so it will look sharper now I am going to use the polygroup it option from C plugin this option we, we are going to use the polypaint to divide the areas what you like to do like where you want the polygroups or not so first I fill a one color and then I am drawing the lines with black color like this you can see how I separate in those parts the ice lines that's why I created this block out mesh so in further I can refine that armor piece I am cleaning up everything and just rough drawing lines and ice lines. Just one thing you should keep in mind that line should be clear and visible otherwise the polygroup will not be clear. That is the main problem. So always do in high res mesh and make the line sharper and clear. Like this big big lines. Now I will use this uh, polygroup polygroup it option. Beware of this thing. Make sure everything look clean and sharp. From Z plugin. Now you can see I we have separate polygroups here. But as I told you, we need clean shapes. That's why it looks like it. So we'll paint again, otherwise those error will come. So paint line nicely and then again do the polygon bit. Now it's fine. In this time we are going to use smooth group brush. You will find this smooth group brush in Z project. It will, uh, what is, what is doing actually, it will make the poly group smoother you can see now the edges are very zaggy and now it's becoming most fine and fine and smooth that is very necessary otherwise our mesh will be little bit zaggy the low raise mesh that's why i'm, I'm smoothing those groups it's coming fine now Don't press so hard, just if a little bit massaging is okay. Now in this stage what we can do, we can re it again. 
go to clip group and see the measure and turn on the clip group and see the measure it. That will take some time for the poly groups. It's coming fine, I think. It's a little bit less, we can increase that poly count. Now it's look fine. You can see how much clean loops we have. It's very clean and good topology is there also. If you want, now we can add supporting loops and bevel also. I turned on the dynamic subdue And you can use this deformation option also, like group by smooth, everything is there actually. Now we can do one thing, we can add some bevels on these sharp edges by using Z modeler. So go to Bezel. Saving once. This is the Bevel option. And we can do partially. When full is not working then we can do partially this is looking fine now so like this you can make any armors and polish it using the same modular and three dimension and polygroup it use those tool and make your work more perfect thank you guys thank you for watching if you learn something please share to your friends and let me know how it's like and keep watching subscribe like share comment take care bye guys